Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to make a bullet. Hopefully you learn a lot. And throughout the tutorial I'll go through topology, uh, hotkeys, and um, I guess we'll start the tutorial now. Alright, first off I want to change that realistic to shaded, since I don't, I'm not going to use any materials in this yet. And I'm going to turn on edge faces. I'm going to go to cylinder and down by sides and then change that to 8. I like to l use small numbers and then increase it later. Alright, so first off we're going to be making the tip of the bullet the part that actually fires out of the casing um, this golden bit up here or this golden bit up here. We're going to be going off these two images I just found them on Google Images. Just type in armor piercing bullet and you'll probably get these pictures. Alright, so first off, I want. I'm gonna delete the top of that and I'm gonna make this top part into a little point. So to do that, I'm gonna go modify, modify list, go down to edit poly, and uh. I work in the one viewport a lot, so I'm going to hit Alt W to maximize the viewport. And um, I'm going to press number 4 for faces. And click on the top face, hit delete. Right, I'm going to hit number 1, which will choose verts. And yeah, just move the camera down, select the top row, go down to collapse. And which will collapse all the verts that you selected into one vert. So it's kind of like welding it. You could have chosen weld, and I would have done the same thing. Alright, um, when you're smoothing stuff, it's best to keep them in uh, quads, not triangles. I've run into a lot of problems with uh, points and uh, triangles in the past when I went to smooth them. It like goes all has like. Well, it's kind of weird. Anyway, I'm um, gonna hit number four. I'm gonna delete all of these except for one. And I'm gonna hit number two, which will select edges. Just select this edge here. Select this edge here. Go to bridge. It makes a quad. And do the rest for the rest of the top of it. Now I can delete that one finish off this top bit. Alright, now I hit number one again to select verts. And I'm going to scale all this up to the one point up there. So to do that, I'm going to hit W on the keyboard, which will change the move tool. I'm going to move it up. And I'm going to hit R on the keyboard. And I'm going to scale it down till it's one thin point. Gonna refine it a little bit. Alright, now the rest of it. I'm gonna go back to references. And I'm gonna study it a little bit. Alright, I'm gonna delete these bottom bits. And start making the rest of the bullet. I'm gonna keep it. So it's always going to have this same curve as the images. keyboard and select one edge and if you hold down shift and select uh, adjacent edge then it's going to go around it where it can and you hit shift you hold down shift actually and you drag it down on the Z scale and you'll see it extrudes it alright back to the thing yeah. 
Now I'm going to make it curve inwards a little bit. And drag it down so it keeps that curve, like in the images. I think that goes in a little bit too much. Alright, now I'm going to start dragging it inwards. So I'm gonna hold down shift and scale. Whoops. You don't want to do that. You can also hit 3 on the keyboard and I'll do edge loops. Uh, you know, like ones that don't have faces on them. Right, I'm going to scale that in a little bit. Drag it down. This next one I'm just going to scale in twice. Hit W on the keyboard. Up. Scale. In. And collapse. Alright, now I'm going to do the same as we did for the top. So, first off, I'm going to hit number 4 to select faces. I'm going to hit Q on the keyboard so that it will, we won't accidentally move them. And I'm going to select all but one face and delete. Now, hit 2 on the keyboard again, select edges. And select those two edges. I'm going to press bridge. And do the rest for the rest of it. the bullet top. Now, to finish it off, I'm just going to get add a turbo smooth modifier, make it nice and smooth. And turn off edge faces, we don't want to see them. And there you have a bullet. You can see the edges there are a little bit sharper. Than mine. I do that by just editing edge loops and whatnot. But I think I'll leave mine, as you're not really going to see it anyway. Alright, uh, just turn it down to two, turn it off. Now we're going to create the rest of the bullet casing. So, first off, we want to zero out the X and Y axes. So, just down here, I just reset to zero. going to drag it up so we have room to create the rest of the bullet bullet casing. Alright, another cylinder. Drag it up to where it should, should be. It's about, it's less than half of the height of it. So I'm going to go side view. Let's check another edit poly modifier. Hit 4 on the keyboard. Alright, so I'm going to go to the side view. I'm going to align it so that it's on 0, 0, 0. Well, not that it's it. Alright. I'm just going to move it down to where it should be. Very thin, very tall. Mine isn't that tall. Um, you see where it goes outwards a little bit more? It's near the bottom of it. So it's about right. Uh, hit 3 on the keyboard, select the bottom edges. Go back to per perspective. And then drag it down a little bit more. Move it out. I think it's about. And doubles and no, it's about half of it radius wise. Yeah, that's alright. Now I'm gonna hold down shift and drag it down on the X and the Z axis uh, to about there. I'm gonna turn back on edge faces. Whoops, shaded edge faces. I drag it down a couple times. 
this is where it's going to go inwards. That's why it's going to go. That's when it's going to stop where it goes inwards. That's where it's going to come out to. It's going to be the very bottom part. And let's get working. Alright, we're going to drag it up a little bit. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be exact. But you can do that if you want. Feel a little bit angle. Alright, so select these ones, like third from the bottom. I'm gonna scale them inwards. And hit W on the keyboard. I'm gonna move it up a little bit, down. And then, um, this is actually really helpful. Snap, let's toggle. Just select like that. If you right click on it, then it has all the options. We don't want grid lines, we just want vertex snapping. And also, use axi constraints. Alright, now once you've done that, you can just drag it using the handle. And you can select a vert that you want it to be the same z axi as. Alright. Um, I think I miscalculated these. That's okay. Because we can just select these ones, snap them up, select them again, and click weld. And that takes us from 16 vertices to 8. Alright, now we're back. Now I'm just going to check that it looks like a bullet. Because I'm not actually familiar with bullets. Uh, the hotkey for snapping is S on the keyboard. Just hit that and you can snap it or unsnap. Uh, I'm going to scale these ones out a little bit more. Oops. Alright, now onto the bottom. Hit 3 on the keyboard, select the edges, scale it in. And then I'm going to scale it up. Um, actually, I'm going to scale it in a little bit more, and then I'm going to scale it up. Alright. Now, uh, actually, we'll just do the top bit as well. Hmm. I'm just going to move this up. Oh, okay, I forgot about the top. Alright, hit 4 on the keyboard. I'm going to delete that phase. Hit 3. Back to the edges, scale it in, and then scale it down. We're not really scaling it, we're moving, move down. And I'll put the bullet part back in the case. Made it a bit too wide. I'm gonna hit 4 on the keyboard. I'm gonna go up to select by angle, undo 60, and select on the insides. And there we have it all around the inside. Alright, now I'm going to hit R on the keyboard for scaling. Or if it helps you mem remember, uh, R is for resize. Could help. I'm just going to resize it so it's about the same size. Alright, now it's going to be a little bit different from turbo smoothing it from the bullet to the bullet casing. Actually, I just noticed that's a bit. It's a bit too much, too much width there. I'm gonna fix that up. Selecting all of them. Um, hmm. All right. I'm just gonna scale it inwards, all but the top faces. So it goes nicely. Makes it more thin. Yep. Uh, now, if we turbo smooth it now, it's going to be a bit different from the actual bullet. Because the bullet, we didn't really need to have any hard faces. And the casing, you do need hard faces for these actual points. Alright, so I'm just going to show you what it looks like now. 
it's all smoothed out, which is not what we wanted at all. So I'm going to turn it up to 2, I'm just going to turn it off for now. Go back to Edit Poly, select Edge, and when you want a hard edge on a smoothed object, you want to make more edge loops. So I'm going to select all the edge loops that I want to make hard, and I'm just going to select them all now. So we want the inside of the case at the top, uh, this part here, that part there, and um, pretty much all of these ones. And I want them to. It's pretty much all of them except the very last ones. Uh, now we're going to go uh, loop, and that will loop through all of them. And we have all of them selected now. Now to make more of um, more edge loops, all we have to do is click chamfer. And we're going to do settings, because I like to define numbers pretty much. I usually do 0 0.1, 0 0.01, depends which uh, system I'm using to scale everything else. Units of measurement. And we just want one segment, by the way, keep them open, uh, closed, I mean. If you keep them open, then you get holes in them, which we don't want. Alright, click OK, and turn on Turbo Smooth again, and you see it's a lot better. There we have a bullet, armor piercing bullet, not bad. Alright, now I'm just going to make the very bottom of it, where the pin hits it, I guess. Which is another cylinder. Who would have guessed? Alright. Put it back on zero, zero. Um, I want this to be unsmoothed for now, so I can resize this one properly. I think it goes inwards more than the actual bullet. Kinda wish I was a bullet expert. Kinda wish you were an expert at everything when you go modeling. Alright. Edit poly. You know. Delete them. Alright, hit 3 on the keyboard. It's pretty much the same thing as we did last time. Yeah. Collapse them. And actually I'm gonna hit Alt W to change to this one. And I'm gonna delete all these. Actually not them ones. The top three. Just select the second one. I'm gonna snap it downwards. There you go. And now I do the deleting thing. All the on face. Which delete that one. Bridge that one. I want to insert an edge loop, which isn't a good idea when it's got uh, non four sided sh lines. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna insert it a little bit. We could make the insert actually the chamfer part. Saves on polygons anyway. Which is always a good thing. Alright, now we can add another turbo modifier to this turbo smooth. That's a nice circle. Turn that on. Now we have a bullet with bullet casing. Pew. 
Uh, now save that. Blit 001 underscore 001 max. Good. <laughs>